is a Diet Coke. How could I what? Do Diet Coke? It's the only soda I can drink. be gross but you don't know that I like to have caramel to make my pretzel feel a little desertish like a little desert it makes my mouth pretzels go pretzels my mouth go pretzels pretzels my mouth go pretzels pretzels in the afternoon, I take my time. I make the cheese and the ranch dressings and all the other dips like artichoke and chili cheese. To dip my pretzels in, we go with Bavarian pretzels, hard rod stick pretzels, and every little kind of pretzel there is. In the evening, you know I bust out the pretzel Because I gotta dip my pretzel in all the soups You know the pretzel Ooh, pretzel You know the pretzel Ooh, pretzel You know the pretzel Ooh, pretzel Make my mouth go Make my mouth go so for dessert we have chocolate covered pretzels I prefer the white but the chocolate 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 milk chocolate dark chocolate white chocolate strawberry chocolate pretzel the pretzel still the winner in this pretzel war the pretzel war the pretzel war where the hard pretzels soft pretzels come together and fight it out who will win the war in my mouth me I will win the war in my mouth. Me! Ooh, pretzels. Ooh, pretzels. Ooh, pretzels. Ooh, pretzels. 
When I eat five pretzels, I love those little nibble pretzels that are warm and you dip in the cheese. And I love the cinnamon coated pretzels that you dip into the icing. But you know what's even better? It's when you add a hot dog inside of the pretzel. Or a bra inside a pretzel. It doesn't matter, because the pretzel is all knowing. Pretzels, ooh, 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 pretzels. I'm gonna tell you real quick how to make a pretzel. So you can make your own pretzels at home because we need one and a half cups or 360 milliliters of warm water. Lukewarm, no need to take the temperature, but around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. It's great. Two and one fourth teaspoons or seven grams of instant or active dry yeast. One standard packet. One teaspoon salt. One tablespoon brown sugar or granulated sugar. One tablespoon unsalted butter, melted and slightly cooled. Three and three fourths of a cup to four cups or 469 to 500 grams of all purpose flour, spoon and leveled plus more for your hands and your work surface. Coarse salt or coarse sea salt, I prefer sea salt. And kosher, of course, for sprinkling. And we gotta have a baking soda bath. So you use the baking soda bath. We'll get to it, we'll get to it in the instructions. Half a cup or 120 grams of baking soda and nine cups or 2,160 milliliters of water. Here we go, this is how we do it. So you whisk the yeast into warm water. Allow it to sit for one minute. Whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. Slowly add three cups of flour. One cup at a time. One cup at a time. One cup at a time. Mix with a wooden spoon or a dough hook attached to a stand mixer until the dough is thick. Add three-fourths cup more flour until the dough is no longer sticky, sticky, sticky. If it's still sticky, add one-fourth to one-half cup more as needed. Poke the dough with your finger. If it bounces back, it's ready to knead, knead. You gotta knead that dough for three more minutes and shape it into a ball. Cover lightly with a towel and allow to rest for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, like to get the water and baking soda boiling for the bath. For the bath, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, 204 degrees Celsius. Line two baking sheets with parchment paper and silicone baking mats. Silicone baking mats are highly recommended over parchment paper. If you use parchment paper, lightly spray with nonstick grease, with grease with butter set aside. With a sharp knife or a pizza cutter, cut dough into one third cup sections. Roll the dough into 20 to 22 inch ropes. Form a circle with the dough by bringing two ends together at the top of the circle. Twist the ends together. Bring the twist ends together, back it down towards yourself, press them into the form of a pretzel. A pretzel. A pretzel. Pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels. Ooh, pretzels. Bring baking soda and nine cups of water to a boil in a large pot. Drop one to two pretzels in the boiling water for 20 to 30 seconds. No more and more than that and your pretzels will have a metallic taste. Blech. Use a slotted spatula. Lift the pretzels out of the water. Allow as much of the excess water to drip off. Place the pretzels on a prepared baking sheet. Sprinkle each with coarse sea salt. Kosher, if you will. Repeat the remaining pretzels. If desired, you can cover and refrigerate the boiled unbaked pretzels for up to 
24 hours before baking. Bake at 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. Remove from the oven and serve warm with spicy nacho cheese. Dip. Cover and store leftover pretzel set. Room temperature for up to three days. They lose a little softness over time to reheat. Microwave for a few seconds. Pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels. You can make some pretzels. That was from pretzels, Sally's Baking Addiction. Ooh, pretzels, ooh, the first pretzels, one that came up in a Google pretzels, search. Ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, Ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels, ooh, pretzels. Let's get ourselves some pretzels right now. I need a pretzel, pretzel. Pretzels, ooh, 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 pretzels,